days early, you turn out 36 on Sunday. <laughs> this deal's going to take you to almost 39 years old. Boy, how long can you fight at your current level? Well, um, my body hasn't took any abuse. I mean, I'm still uh, comfortable. I'm still comfortable. I still feel good. And um, I haven't taken no abuse. Uh, the less you get hit, the longer you last. And you haven't been hit much, uh, as is evident by your good looks. I don't know how you maintain that pace in fighting, but you've done it, and you've done it well. The whole boxing world, Floyd, has been clamoring for this Mayweather uh, Pacquiao fight that so many thought would happen, and uh, now he's gone out and lost his last two fights, so that makes it probably less likely to see it anytime soon. Are you ever going to fight in As a native of Las Vegas, the home, the capital of Las Vegas, what does that mean? I don't think the fight really holds that much weight anymore at one particular time. I mean, I, I wanted the fight to happen in the past. I wanted to fight Manny Pacquiao. Only thing I asked for is just random blood in your intestine. And uh, I feel like I'm the first. I'm one of the pioneers that was that that talked about random blood in, random blood in your intestine. And um, as you can see, since Floyd Mayweather has spoke about random blood in your intestine, you see athletes in baseball. In, in, in cycling and in boxing, constantly get, get, getting caught using uh, enhancement drugs, and I, I was the first. Do you think he was using something, boy? I never said Manny Pacquiao was using anything. All I asked was for both me and him both to take random blood in their testing, and he didn't want to do it. I know that you said the fight doesn't have the same aura around it as it once did, but still, I think that you'd agree people would buy this fight in record numbers if it ever happened. Will it happen? I got to take this fight. Um, I don't know if it, if it will or if it won't happen. But if my legacy was defined off one fight, um, I feel that I didn't have to fight 43 fights. If that's the case, I could have just came into the sport of boxing, fought one fight, and then went down as the best fighter to ever live. If my fight, if, if my legacy is defined off one fight. Well, let me ask you this one: What has to happen for you to say, "Okay, I'll fight"? What do you want? Floyd, what did you see in him? I mean, I'm not really, I mean, uh, first Manny Pacquiao has to get past Marquez, a guy that I beat with ease. I mean, that was one of my, uh, one of my easiest fights. So, he has to get past, he's, Manny Pacquiao still, still has Timothy Bradley problems. He still has Marquez problems. First Manny Pacquiao has to get past those guys. And then and he can step into the Lions game with Floyd Mayweather. Keep All right, very good. The line. I'm proud of Ishe. When everybody turned their back on Ishe, I had his back and I stood behind him. And Why, when you were in prison, did you write and reach out to him? What did you see? What enabled you to have the vision that there was still something in this man? Because everyone turned their back on him. And I don't believe in turning my back on no one. I mean, um, Showtime um, gave him a chance. Showtime, now I'm working with Showtime. Ishe is, is unbelievable. What else can I say? But K9, I got to give him thanks for giving us the opportunity. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> K9 is a hell of a champion. And Mayweather Promotions, the past, the present, and the future of sports and entertainment. There you go. Thank you. Days early, you turn uh, 36 on Sunday. <laughs> this deal's going to take I'm getting, you I'm getting... <laughs> uh, to almost 39 years old. Floyd, how long can you fight at your current level? Well, um, my body hasn't took any abuse. I mean, I'm still uh, comfortable. I'm still comfortable. I still feel good, and um, I haven't took no abuse. Uh, the less you get hit, the longer you last. And you haven't been hit much, uh, as is evident by your good looks. I don't know how you maintain that face in fighting, but you've done it, and you've done it well. The whole boxing world, Floyd, has been clamoring for this Mayweather-Pacquiao uh, fight that so many thought would happen, and uh, now he's gone out and lost his last two fights, so that makes it probably less likely that we'll see it anytime soon. Are you ever going to fight Manny Pacquiao? I mean, uh... I don't think the fight really holds that much weight anymore. At one particular time, I mean, I, I wanted the fight to happen in the past. I wanted to fight Manny Pacquiao. Only thing I asked for is just random blood in your intestine. And uh, I feel like I'm the first. I'm one of the pioneers that, was, that, that 
talked about random blood, random blood in your intestine. And um, as you can see, since Floyd Mayweather had spoke about random blood in your intestine, you see athletes in baseball, in, in, in cycling, and in boxing constantly get, get, getting caught using uh, enhancement drugs. And I, I was the first. Do you think he was using something, it. Floyd? I never said Manny Pacquiao was using anything. All I asked was for both, me and him both, to take random blood in your intestine. And he didn't want to do it. I know that you said the fight doesn't have the same aura around it as it once did. But still, I think that you'd agree people would buy if, this fight in record numbers if it ever happened. Will it happen? Um, I don't know if it, if it will or if it won't happen. But m if my legacy was defined off one fight, um, I feel that I didn't have to fight 43 fights. If that's the case, I could have just came into the sport of boxing fought one fight and then went down as the best fighter to ever live if my fight if if my legacy is defined off one fight well let me ask it this way what 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 has to happen for you to say okay I'll fight him what do you want I mean I'm not really I mean uh, first Manny Pacquiao has to get past Marquez a guy that I beat with ease I mean that was one of my uh, one of my easiest fights so he has to get past he's Manny Pacquiao still still has Timothy Bradley problems. He still has Marquez problems. First, Manny Pacquiao has to get past those guys, and then he can step into the lion's den with Floyd Mayweather. All right, very good. Um, we have a good one tonight. The IBF Junior Welterweight title fight is uh, on Friday Night Fights right here on ESPN. Should be a terrific fight. A couple of good fighters stepping in against one another. Kendall Holt will fight against Lamar Peterson. What do you know about these guys? Um, I think um, I boxed Lamont Peterson before. He's tough. He's solid. You know, I sparred him before. Never fought him. Actually fought him in a fight. But he's solid and, he, and he's strong. And Kendall Hope, he packs a punch. So it should be a good fight tonight. Should be. 9 Eastern time on ESPN2. All right. Anyone who follows you on Twitter, Floyd, by the way, it's at Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> he has just 4 million followers, so he needs a few more. Um, they, they know that you like to drop a nickel or two on a big sporting event. What is the biggest bet you've ever lost, and what's the biggest bet you've ever won? Um, <laughs> I don't really want to talk about that. I don't really want to talk about that. Are we talking? We're talking six figures, just, though, aren't we, Floyd? No. Um, no. I've won seven figures, and I, I mean, oh. I, I've won big bets. <laughs> I've lost big bets. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I forgot you lived in the seven neighborhood, uh, seven figure neighborhood. Okay, well then, if you won't say the exact number, let me ask you this. What does it feel like when you win and when you lose those huge bets? I mean, no one uh, likes to lose. I mean, everyone likes to win, of course. I mean, I was born a winner. I'm a dire winner. But, <laughs> I mean, um, I think when you, once you come into the, uh, the betting world and once you don't even look at sports uh, in the same way, you know, actually, I bet yesterday, yesterday I bet, I think I bet Oregon uh, first half. It was close. I bet Oregon first half. I think I bet uh, 50000 yesterday, and it brought in 45000 So <laughs> Just a day's a normal, work, man. That's just, a normal bet. Yeah, just a day's work. Yeah, betting yes. on a half of college basketball. Uh, that, what, whatever it takes, man. Um, I, listen, I, it's legendary that you have uh, one of your entourage members carrying large sums of money at, at, at all times. It's are we called, here? Wait, wait. It's called are the we, bag. Are we? It, 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 uh, is the bag <laughs> no. near you right now? Is it, is it around you right now? Um, I'm not here to talk about <laughs> sports book betting. <laughs> I'm not here to talk about the bag. No, one's, no one in my entourage carries a bag full of money. Uh, so that's, that's, not that's true. false. Okay, good. I mean, I'm glad to hear that because there are credit cards. There's much that's safer false. ways uh, uh, of carrying around large sums of money. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's talk about this upcoming fight in May. What are we going to see and uh, mm -hmm. how long will this fight last? I mean, um, I know he's a very, very uh, young, aggressive fighter. And um, he's, um, he's a tough, I mean, he's a tough solid competitor. He's a guy that I can't overlook. Um, I have to go out there and, and be at my best and um, give everyone excitement. 
You turned 36 on Sunday, Floyd. Uh, is, is your best fighting still ahead of you, in your mind? Um, is, we have to see. We don't know at this particular time. Uh, but with, with my new deal, I mean, I can't wait to go out there and perform and, and push myself to the limit. If you could fight any fighter, past or present, who would you want to fight? <laughs> Um, I don't know. It's so many, it's so many great champions, you know, that paved the way for me to be where I'm at today. So I couldn't choose one particular fighter. Any guy that comes to mind that would give you the best fight? Um, I, I don't know. Like I said before, it's so many legendary champions, you know, uh, from the past. So it, it, it's not just one particular fighter. Well, pound for pound, he is the best in the world right now. Turns 36 on Sunday. You can catch him on May 4th when he fights Robert the Ghost Guerrero on Showtime Pay-Per-View. It's at the MGM Grand Arena in Las Vegas. Money, thanks. We appreciate it.
days early. You turned uh, 36 on Sunday. <laughs> this deal's going to take I'm you get, get, <laughs> uh, to almost 39 years old. Floyd, how long can you fight at your current level? Well, um, my body hasn't took any abuse. I mean, I'm still uh, comfortable. I'm still comfortable. I still feel good, and um, I haven't took no abuse. Uh, the less you get hit, the longer you last. And you haven't been hit much, uh, as is evident by your good looks. I don't know how you maintain that face in fighting, but you've done it, and you've done it well. The whole boxing world, Floyd, has been clamoring for this Mayweather-Pacquiao uh, fight that so many thought would happen. And uh, now he's gone out and lost his last two fights, so that makes it probably less likely that we'll see it anytime soon. Are you ever going to fight Manny Pacquiao? I mean, uh, I don't think the fight really holds that much weight anymore. At one particular time, I mean, I, I wanted the fight to happen in the past. I wanted to fight Manny Pacquiao. Only thing I asked for is just random blood in your intestine. And uh, I feel like I'm the first. I'm one of the pioneers that was that st that talked about random blood, random blood in your intestine. And um, as you can see, since Floyd Mayweather had spoke about random blood in your intestine, you see athletes in baseball, in 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 cycling, and in boxing constantly get getting getting caught using uh, enhancement drugs. And I, I was the first. Do you think he was using something, it. Floyd? I never said Manny Pacquiao was using anything. All I asked was for both, me and him both, to take random blood in your intestine. And he didn't want to do it. I know that you said the fight doesn't have the same aura around it as it once did. But still, I think that you'd agree people would buy if, this fight in record numbers if it ever happened. Will it happen? Um, I don't know if it if it will or if it won't happen, but m if my legacy was defined off one fight, um, I feel that I didn't have to fight 43 fights. If that's the case, I could have just came into the sport of boxing, fought one fight, and then went down as the best fighter to ever live. If my fight, if if my legacy is defined off one fight. Well, let me ask it this way: What 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 has to happen for you to say, okay, I'll fight him? What do you want? I mean, I'm not really, I mean, uh, first Manny Pacquiao has to get past Marquez, a guy that I beat with ease. I mean, that was one of my, uh, one of my easiest fights. So he has to get past, he's, Manny Pacquiao still, still has Timothy Bradley problems. He still has Marquez problems. First Manny Pacquiao has to get past those guys, and then he can step into the lion's den with Floyd Mayweather. All right, very good.